Hi, welcome to Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. Today, we're going to be discussing the vocabulary from the story, Raccoons and Ripe Corn by Jim Arnosky. You should have already listened to the story, Raccoons and Ripe Corn, to get an overview before you begin to really look more in depth at the vocabulary. Raccoons and ripe corn corn. We're thinking about what the word ripe is. You may have an idea, but you might want to make sure you're right. It is autumn. Leaves from trees near the edge of a farm sail over the cornfield. So the sailing of the leaves, it's not a boat in the ocean. It's floating through the air, and it is autumn. Now, I'm still thinking about the word ripe. If ripe means ready to eat, I can see in this picture that this corn husk right here is indeed ready to be eaten. There's new vocabulary on this page. The silk at the top of the ears of corn is turning brown. So ears of corn, hmm. When I look at the ripe corn in the pictures here, I see they do look a little bit like the ears of an animal, and indeed those are the ears of corn. It says the silk at the top of the ears of the corn is turning brown. I can look and identify the corn silk here. The corn silk is turning brown, and that's an indicator that the corn is getting ready to be harvested or picked. The silk at the top of the ears of corn is turning brown. The corn is plump and ripe. Ripe means ready to eat. Plump is another word for fat and juicy. At night, a mother raccoon and her almost grown kits sneak into the cornfield. This page helps you to learn the name of baby raccoons. Yes, the name of baby raccoons is kits. Kits. The raccoons walk between the rows of corn. Corn is planted in rows because the farmer has planted it this way. They climb the tall stalks and pull the ears down to the ground. So we know the ears of the corn are the part that we eat. And this picture help us, helps us to see that the stalks are kind of like if it was a tree, we'd call it the trunk of the tree. But this is the stalk of corn, the part that grows up tall, like a trunk of a tree, is the corn stalk. And when there's more than one, of course, we add the plural S, corn stalks. They climb the tall stalks and pull the ears down to the ground. Not the ears of an animal, the ears of corn. That's the part you want to eat. They peel away the green husks that cover the yellow kernels. So now we've learned the name for the outside part of a corn, the green part, which later turns brownish yellow, um, is called a husk. You might have seen a corn husk as the outside wrapping for a tamale. People use corn husks to make tamales, and some people even use corn husks to make into corn husk dolls. It says the green husks cover the yellow kernels. The kernels are the individual little pieces of corn. Those are called kernels. Even if it's popcorn, we still call them popcorn kernels. So the individual little piece of corn is a kernel. All the little kernels stuck together is an ear of corn. All night long, the raccoons feast on corn. So they are having a wonderful big meal. It is a feast. A wonderful big meal is a feast. They pull down more corn than they can eat. So they've pulled down the stalks by climbing them. At sunrise, the raccoons hurry back into the woods. 
Sunrise is a compound word. It has the word sun and the word rise, which means to go up. And so the sun is coming up in the sky. It's sunrise. Wind whistling through the trees send autumn leaves sailing out over the field of ripe corn. This is back to kind of the beginning of the story when they talked about the autumn leaves sailing out over the field of ripe corn. It acts like a book end to the end of the story because it matches like the beginning of the story. The author also used wind whistling for alliteration. They both start with wa. The wind is whistling through the trees. It's making a sound through the trees that is like a whistling sound. I always enjoy Jim Arnosky's books for the wonderful pictures and the great vocabulary. This book really gave you a lot of vocabulary about corn. There's so many pieces of vocabulary in here. We learned about the corn stalk, the ears of corn, the husk, the kernels, the corn silk, and many other interesting vocabulary words. I hope you enjoy raccoons and ripe corn. Thanks for watching. Learn with me, Mrs. Sullivan.